Hello everybody. This is about Intellipit, the new PID viewer inside UPV. What I'm going to show in the live demo are the following features. Viewing of PID graphics and attributes, colorizing objects manually or based on properties, searching objects based on attribute values, linking PID objects to 3D model objects, creation of reports, exporting data to PDF, and navigation across OPCs. I am now starting the live demo. In UPV, you can open the IntelliPIT uh, module and just uh, open the drawings, which you will see listed in areas and units. And in here, you can zoom in, you can zoom out, you can click on an object, and then you see the properties for that object, for equipments, for pipe runs, for valves. These are exported from the PID database. If you want to change the color of an object, you can select it, click on the color menu, and then you have the possibility to choose the new color. I can choose another object and also switch to another color, but it's also possible to select multiple objects and uh, colorize those objects as well. In addition, you can also load colors from a color file, which means um, we can, for instance, choose to change everything that is um, fluid code S to red and everything that has fluid code W to blue. So for this, we would load the color file, apply it to the graphic, and here you can see the result. And the same functionality is also available on the 3D side. Also here, I can use the same color file and I can really modify also for 3D, the pipe runs that have uh, the fluid code S to, to the color red. Switching back to the PID, next step is to search for objects based on property values. So for instance, if I would key in star dash 240, the tool will search in both databases in the PID side and here I can, for instance, look for the first object that has this property, look for the second object that has this property. And on the 3D side, the same mechanism is active, but I have more equipments that have those names. And here as well, I can really go to the corresponding equipment. I can move to the next one and uh, the software will just go through the objects that it finds same way like it does for the PID. Another quite nice example would be to search, for instance, for P, for instance, fluid code P. And on the PID side, you can see that in two drawings, I have pipe runs having this fluid code. I can open the first result and you see the pipe run up here. And I can switch to the next result, which is automatically opening the next drawing and displaying also the pipe runs that have the fluid code P. Another very nice function is the possibility to navigate from PID to 3D, but also the other way. If I click on this uh, heat exchanger, I can use the Find in 3D button, and it will just go to the 3D system and uh, highlight this object. But I can also click on an object in 3D, like this vessel, and here you see that it finds an IntelliPIT link, and if I select it, it will automatically jump to the object on the PID. And maybe another little example, if we have a look at these pumps, if I just highlight both of them and then um, want to search for the 3D uh, corresponding items, it will automatically find the two pumps on the 3D side. And if I like, I can also change the color for them. And now I have the result available on both sides. 
Next step would be the creation of reports. The creation of reports would allow me to choose which attributes I want to see. I could, for instance, add equipment uh, type to this list. And if I click OK, I am prompted to select a file to save the result. And I can open the folder and just open the report. And you see here is the data set created from Universal Plant Viewer. Once we have put a color on the graphic, of course, it's very nice to save the result to a PDF file. So I can use the save to PDF function. I can choose the name for the file. And now the software will convert all the visible items on this drawing and put them with the right information on the PDF. So as you see, this file was just created on the fly. And we can also uh, zoom in a little and display the objects in here. Last but not least, if we have a look at the OPCs, which are uh, pointing to other drawings, I can select one of them. And then I can use the navigation button to jump to the paired drawing. And this method is available for all the connected OPC. So each one, I can really navigate to the other drawing and uh, it will open the file for me. So thank you for your attention. Goodbye.